Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Habita fillah From the beautiful supplications from the Quran comes the supplication where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Rabbana la tazir qulubana ba'da tha daytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al-wahhab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem of one of those supplications that are mentioned in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are a supplication for guidance, for hidayah because we need guidance we need guidance to have all of our affairs rectified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need guidance to stay on istiqamah To stay on sincerity to a loss, to stay on straightness and righteousness. And we need guidance. If we're not on straightness and righteousness, to be on straightness and righteousness. We we need gu guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Hidayah for all of our affairs and at all times. And that Hidayah comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in the supplication, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this is the supplication we need to supplicate with, Rabbana la tazid qulubana bad hadaytana. O our Lord, you're supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, had a tawheed. Tawheed al ibadah, that's tawheed khalis lillah, asking Him for guidance. Rabbana la tazig qulubana Do not allow for our hearts to be distorted You know, to be, uh, to go astray To be deviated Rabbana la tazig qulubana ba'da thadaytana After you have guided us So this is why it shows us This is dalil that our iman fluctuates and that we can be upon guidance and we can leave guidance. And a person can be misguided and then gain guidance if Allah Ta'ala so chooses to guide him or her. So that should keep us away from being arrogant, ahabitifillah. That we should always be seeking guidance from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Rabbana la tazakulubana, bada the daytana, after you have guided us. Wahablana min ladun karahma, you know, give from us from your rahmah, from your mercy. Because the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unlike his creation's mercy. His creation's mercy is unlike his mercy, tabarak wa ta'ala. His mercy is perfect. His mercy, mercy is complete. His mercy is divine. His mercy is supreme. Whereas the mercy of the creation is limited, mahdud, and has taqsir, has uh, shortcomings and incompleteness. So the believer, when supplicating with this supplication, Rabbana la tazid qulubana ba'da the daytana, wahab lana min ladun rahma, give us from your mercy. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ Verily, you are the all-giver. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And His giving, and His rizq and provisions, and His sustenance, Tabarak wa ta'ala, is unlike anything that the creation can give. And so... Again, asking from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for these things. 
That is Tawheed. That's a part of Tawheed. That is Tawheed al-Ibadah. That you are supplicating and asking for these favors, for mercy and guidance and favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because He's the only one who can give you that guidance. He's the only one who can give you the tawfiq, hidayah to tawfiq. And the scholars, they mention about hidayah, guidance. They mention is it is of two types. Hidayah, hidayah to tawfiq wa hidayah to Wahidaya Irshad. Hidaya to Tawfiq. Wahidaya. Hidaya to Irshad. Hidaya to Tawfiq Ahabatifillah. This is the guidance that we're asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that only He, Tabarak wa ta'ala, can give. So, for example. When a person is, for example, in need of guidance, they supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides them. So, for example, the one who's guided from disbelief to iman, you know, from kufr to tawheed and iman. That that guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that they accepted Islam and left disobedience and left uh, kufr for iman, that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one could have uh, uh, given a person that type of guidance. The other type of guidance we mention, that's guidance, that is hidayat uh, irshad. This is, for example, when the person is, for example, they are out and in need of guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Someone is calling them to Tawheed, for example. And they accept Islam. Okay? They leave off shirk and they come to Islam. They come to Iman. The guidance, Hidayat to Irshad is the guidance in which the caller was was given giving showing showing the way showing the way of tawhid calling them to tawhid calling them to kitabillah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam hada hidayata irshad that's the the guidance of showing if you will of showing the way the hidayat to tawfiq in that same example, so we can look at this example and we can find both types of guidance. The hidayat to tawfiq is the fact that they accepted Islam, that they accepted the message, that that is hidayat to tawfiq, that is from Allah. No one can have you accept the message, even if they try to force you. That truly accepting it in your heart that is only from the tawfiq from Allah that is only from the success of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's only because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you to accept the message to accept guidance let's look at another example to make it clear this hidayah to tawfiq or hidayah to hidayah to uh, irshad so another example might be the one who is on bid'ah. They're on religious innovation. They've been with a certain jama'ah, a certain group for most of their lives. They've been traveling with them. They've uh, spent their wealth, their property, and a large portion of their lives with a certain group, for example. A certain sect of Islam or a certain group, a certain methodology, which is contrary to the methodology of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Minhaj of the Salaf al-Saleh Ridwan Allahi Alayhim So this person is on a sabil ghayr mu'mineen Doesn't mean they're not Muslim, they're Muslim But they have some bid'ah Or they are with a bid'ah uh, uh, An organization, a mubtadi'ah Organization, a innovative organization So then this person 
interacts with someone who adheres to the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the, and the Sabil al mumineen which is the Sabil al-Salaf al-Salih. Ridwan Allahi alayhim. They, adhe- they get with someone who's calling to the minhaj of the Salaf. They see that this person is exhibiting in, in his characteristics, in his or her characteristics and mannerisms. They see that this person is uh, practicing what they preach. They see that this person is calling to ilm sahih to sound Islamic knowledge, not to just stories and, and, and fairy tales and fabricated hadith and uh, calling to one aspect of the deen or calling to bloodshed and takfir and... and, and, and and things which either are from the religion or are a distortion of the religion. But rather they see that this person is calling to the correct sabil, to the whole religion based on the book and the sunnah. And they begin to listen and they accept from that person. So, this pers- the person who was on the sunnah who gave them da'wah, this was Hidayat Irshad. They, all they could do was give them the tools. Hey, listen to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this, the Prophet said this, the, the Salaf believe this in accordance with the book in the Sunnah. They can give you the Irshad. But the Hidayah to Tawfiq, the actual Tawfiq and the fact that you accepted their message and it went to your heart and you began to practice then this only comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is from the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is hidayah to tawfiq. Rabbana la tazik qulubana ba'da the daytana wa hablana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.